Hi there. If you are working with Microsoft Power BI, then there is a high chance that you are also taking the advantage of Azure Analytics services. And I'm getting constantly this question from many of our viewers or the subscribers over here that how to start working with Azure Analytics services. In this video, I'm going to explain you that what are the Azure Analytics services and how you can start working with Microsoft Power BI. If you are the one who would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. As you know, analytics is the process of gather, store, process, analyze and visualize any amount of data, any volume and any velocity. So. When it comes to Microsoft Power BI, I'm sure you are going to visualize the data. You are also going to generate the insights with the help of that data. But how to do that? And how can Azure services can help you over there? Well, guys, we are going to start from the basic one. That means the first part where we are going to gather all the data and that we have to furthermore, we have to store it, we have to process it, we have to analyze it and then we have to visualize it. So in this part, we are going to get to know that how you can use what are the different services that are going to help you over there. So over here, the very first service just to gather the data that we can utilize from Azure Analytics Services is the Azure Data Lake Storage. Azure Data Lake Storage is going to help you to analyze big data. So if you are going to start analytics using Azure and Power BI, then the very first service is to gather the data and store it. And for that, you can utilize Azure Data Lake Storage. Azure Data Lake Storage is scalable, secure data lake for high performance analytics. And if you would like to take advantage of this, then you can also implement the big data analytics solution with the help of Azure Data Lake Storage. And if you would like to know more, I have already created some of the videos and also I have recently posted a blog post over here where you are going to get a summary of it. And if you would like to know more, please do let us know in the comment section. The number two is going to come over here, the Azure Analysis Services. What is Azure Analysis Service? If you are coming from a background of MSBI or Microsoft BI stack, then you know what is SQL Server Analysis Services. So similar to that, we have on cloud as well. That means on Azure platform, we have analysis services that is known as Azure Analysis Service. This analysis service is going to help you to analyze huge amount of data. You can create your tabular model over there and then you can start ingesting data from your Azure Analysis Service Cube to Power BI to analyze huge amount of data and that's going to help you a lot. Recently also I have created a dedicated tutorial for that. If you haven't watched it, then I request you to go to our YouTube channel or find the link in the description section and start watching it. Number three, Azure Databricks. We all know about the Databricks. Now Microsoft has a collaboration with Databricks so that you can use the Databricks services inside Microsoft Azure platform. Azure Databricks is basically going to help you to design AI with Apache Spark advanced analytics. And how to do that and how to use it. Basically, you can run your notebooks over there. You can use Python, SQL, Apache, or maybe PySpark to analyze and visualize the data. Then you can save it and also you can take advantages of data lake in Azure Databricks. So you would get a lot of other options over there if you have to work on AI, machine learning, or maybe on big data analytics. That's how you can take advantage of this. We also have a dedicated tutorial for that. So please don't forget to watch it. Link in the description section. Now, coming to the part where we have to move the data. As in the beginning of this video, I have already told you that, okay, you have to first gather the data, then you have to store it, and then you have to process it. And then probably you have to load into your destination as well. Then how you are gonna do that? Well, in order to move the data from the source to destination and transform the data for that, we use Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory is a part of Synapse Analytics. Synapse Analytics provides you a lot of flexibility. That means you can create your Azure Data Factory pipelines over there. Not only that, you can also create your data warehouse solution on cloud on Microsoft Azure platform. So basically, Synapse Analytics is going to provide you limitless analytics with unmatched time to insight. You can create your own data warehouse solution, your serverless SQL pools, and much more in Synapse Analytics. 
If you don't know what is it, how to work with it, how to start with it, then we also have a dedicated tutorial for that. So please don't forget to check the link in the description section. Now let's talk about Azure Data Explorer. This service is going to help you for fast exploration or generating the insights from your data. This is one of the latest service present in Azure Analytics platform. So with the help of this service, you can analyze your data, you can run KQL queries, which is similar to SQL queries against the data. And then you can also generate the visualizations over there. Or if you would like to ingest the data from there to Power BI, that one also you can do that. And last but not least, in the analytics platform for Microsoft Azure, there's one more service which is very important, that means stream analytics. I know that many of the time we want to perform the real-time analytics, we are getting data from some of the plant sensors or maybe using some of the IoT data. Maybe you're getting from some of your traffic IoTs and you want to analyze or visualize the data on Microsoft Power BI platform. So for that case, you can use Azure Stream Analytics services. So that's how this is kind of an ecosystem of analytic services that you can utilize to visualize and analyze huge amount of data using Microsoft Power BI. If you have any questions or you would like to know that how to utilize these services even after watching the tutorial or if you want us to create any more videos on any particular topic or any particular part of any of these services, please do let us know in the comment section. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.